All right, hi, this is Dan the Diet Coach again, and I'm here for another tip. I get asked a lot about cheat meals. When can I have a cheat meal? What can I eat? What should I do with it? How do I do it? Um, and I usually give cheat meals on my diets, but here's my tip. A cheat meal works well with, when there's a couple things going on in a diet. One, you have to be strict to your diet for the majority of the week. If you're always cheating throughout the week, little snacks here, a little nibble here, a little taste here, then a cheat meal is gonna be far than less far than, less than effective for you um, in, your, in your process. You're better off just keeping it clean. Um, but if you can keep it, if you can't keep your diet clean for the week, then, a cheat, then once a week, I always generally have a cheat meal on Saturdays or Sundays, sometimes Fridays, a person can usually pick the day, um, usually on a date night or something, but, they, but there's a couple of rules that I, that I usually associate with it. First one is, gotta eat all your other meals on your plan up until the cheat meal. The cheat meal usually takes the place of the last two meals of the day. That's really, really important because a lot of people want to do cheat meals earlier in the day, and I never recommend it because it sets you up hormonally to cheat the rest of the day. It sets you also up to not want to eat the rest of your meals the way you, you normally might, especially if you're eating something that's a little more dirty, a little more carb rich, a little more processed. Those things are going to tend to taint the, the palate, and people tend to stuff themselves in a cheat meal and then not feel like eating for several hours later. So I always do it at the tail end of the day. Um, uh, so, so eat all your other meals, uh, eat the, it, it should take the place of your last two meals. And the final rule is don't let the cheat meal last more than 45 minutes. But remember, it should be a cheat meal. It shouldn't be, it's not like a gallon of ice cream or a pound of, of chocolate covered almonds or something of that nature. It should be a meal, a hamburger, uh, some spaghetti, uh, Whatever a meal is to you, it should be something like that. And But choose something you like uh, because a cheat meal does, it serves two main purposes in our week. It gives us a little bit of a reprieve from our diet, so it gives us a little bit of an emotional break, but it also helps us to um, to ramp up that metabolism, give, the, give your body the ability to, uh, and the sensation that it's receiving an influx of nutrients, that you're not starving yourself, that there's no sense for hoarding, the fat hoarding or energy hoarding in the body, and that we're getting the, the, a surplus of nutrients on a regular basis. And so done in a in a very meticulous manner like this, cheat meals can have wonderful value. They can help us lose body fat faster. They can, they can give you a reprieve for the week and then keep you sane amongst a very tumultuous diet at times. So have fun with the cheat meals, folks. And, all, and by the way, I always tell people that they can have a little bit of alcohol too, uh, usually one to two glasses max of beer or wine or something of that nature on their cheat meal as well. So bon appetit and have great cheat meals.